knows about Get Kids in the Survey? Hands? Want to see hands? Let me see. Excellent, excellent. Right. I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea about what we do. And then, hopefully, you want to take part in what we do as well. So, like some of the other presenters actually said, I got into survey because of my dad. My dad's a hydrographer and a mine surveyor. And my background ended up in manufacturing of borehole deployable cavity scanners for the mining industry, and also collision avoidance systems for oil and gas. So I got sucked into it at an early age. One of the big things is, I didn't know what it was about, but I knew it was really exciting. I was like, oh, I quite like this. So I set up uh, Elaine Ball Limited, which is a marketing and sales consultancy for geospatial businesses. This was 2011. 2012, actually. And uh, it was to help businesses improve their marketing, their sales, and make money. Anyway, 2017, the Survey Association, actually in the UK, said to me, Elaine, do you want to put some things in our packs at the AGM? And I was like, tell you what, I'm working with a cartoonist at the moment. Why don't I come up with a poster? So this is how this all started. So our vision is to inspire future geospatial experts, you guys. OK, so our mission is to actually get it into the terminology and the lingo so people remember the brand, see it, hear it, that sort of thing. So in 2017, when this all began, as you can see, I did an English countryside. I had a bull chasing a surveyor across the uh, field. Actually, somebody did say to me, is that actually somebody stealing that total station, that, that scanner? I was like, oh, hope not. So we came up with this, and we thought, right, OK, what are we going to do about it? So we decided it's creative. It's from a marketeer's perspective. It's actually very, very exciting. I was like, yeah, I could get right into this. So we actually decided to go out to market, go out to the industry, speak to all these wonderful businesses, and get some of their money. Right? So what do we do with that? What do we need to do? So we came up with characters. So as you can see, in the poster, there's these little characters. So people who sponsor the posters actually get their own avatar. Now, the lovely chap on the right-hand side is actually my father. He's the last surveyor. So if you want a comic book, The Geo Squad, you need to find out all about my dad. He's like Obi-Wan Kenobi. So we started working with companies. They have their own avatar. And you can't actually see it on here, but we actually have Q&As. So the whole point of this is it's for you guys to give to children, to give to your own children. This is what I do. This is what me, uh, my husband does, my, the, your mother does, whatever it does. But it's all about educating them and showing them visually about it. So I was like, need to do a bit more. What else can we do? So we decided to put Q&A onto these posters. So actually then, as you take it away, you can actually then have questions and answers related to survey types of subjects. So again, it's getting it into the mind of the child. And they're actually then helping school, helping the curriculum. Brilliant. The next thing we did, we decided, OK, we've been shipping. We've shipped over eight, oh, actually more. It's 100 and just over 100,000 posters globally. It's crazy. We have a shipping uh, out of the UK, a shipping out of Australia, and also shipping out of the States. So it's all about getting that exposure out there. But we were like, we need something more that's easy to download. And us as marketeers, we were like, OK, what do we need to do? So we decided to come up with homework projects. So this is Storm Geomatics. They're a hydro hydrography company based out of the UK. They do anything water-based. So they wanted to have a traditional looking guy with a beard. And they decided this is going to be their avatar. But what we did with our primary school teacher, we got him to write what they did as a business, put it into child speak. So all our stuff is aged under the age of 12. OK, so this is key. So all the homework projects, all come. you can go online now, use that QR code, go and have a look at them. You can download the homework projects. So it's really interesting. And you can actually film and see it. I challenge you all as surveyors and GIS and geodesy people to see if they're actually technically correct. So what else is fun? Now, this is bizarre. This is really weird. Who's in forensics? Anybody in forensics? No? OK. This coloring in sheet 
is the most downloaded coloring in sheet that we have on our website. Weird. I think, the, I think kids like blood and gore and killing stuff. I don't know. I was like, wow, this is very interesting. So we have a, a range of different things that people can actually use. So, oh, she's done something really fancy here. We've actually got, as it now, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm stuck. Help. Anybody? <laughs> Technical. <laughs> oh, somebody doing something? Another one? <laughs> there it is. So we actually have a comic book called The Geo Squad, and it's it's all about this guy that wants to get rid of the world of surveyors. No more surveyors. We don't want them. They're out of here. So we came up with this comic book related. And of course, the last surveyor is in this comic book. So it takes you back to a world. These guys find some goggles. They find out what it's about about the, about the world, about not having survey in the place. Ooh. Now, you've had lots of stats. You've had plenty of stats. But these are just give you some tips, because we actually get feedback from all around the world, from the different associations. It was very interesting with the presentations earlier, because I was taking lots of pictures. So I thought, we need to feed that back, because this is the stuff that we need to figure out how to change, and what do we need to do differently. This is the serious stuff now. So maybe I need to point it at that thing. Do I? I don't know. So this is Middletown, OK? 2049, I think we're catching up to that quite quickly. So Middletown is a world without surveyors. This was what would happen when none of you guys are around. Nobody's doing a surveying. It would just collapse, fall to pieces. So am I doing it wrong? Oh, battery's buggered. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it wasn't me. It's usually me pressing the button. Oh, he's gone now. What do you want me to do, sing? <laughs> oh, OK. OK, I'll just do a thumbs up then. That's perfect. Right, OK, so what do we need to do? How are we going to do it? You hear all these people talking about, this is the problem, blah, blah, blah. You hear all that. I'm like, for God's sake, we need to do something about it. So how are we working to stop this recruitment problem? They're not even looking at me now. Hey. All of you guys, scan the QR code. You can become brand ambassadors. I'm going to walk over here so you can scan the QR code. So the QR code, the QR code, the brand ambassadors, we have over 200 and something brand ambassadors around the world now. These brand ambassadors are the guys that are local. It's you guys at a local level. So we're all about acting local global. So it's free, totally free. And we've actually got some funding now from Topcon to actually help develop the brand ambassador network to help with career advice, developing stuff. But what we were getting was people were coming along to us and saying, Elaine, um, I'm a surveyor, and I want to go into school, and I want to share what we're doing, but I have no resources. I don't know how to do a presentation or a PowerPoint, and it was really important. So we thought, well, why don't we do a brand ambassadors so all you guys can, to get, can get involved? Now, the thing is, with being a brand ambassador, all I ask is share our stuff. Share the word. Get kids in survey. Let's get kids into survey. Let them get it into the terminology. That's really key. That's really important. And then also, if you want to do more, if you want to go into schools, if you want to take a scanner or a laser sta a total station into school, do it. Or software, visualization, that sort of thing. So the next thing, how many of you guys are companies? Put your hands up. You've got a business. Come on, don't be shy. I'm not going to pick on you. Look at you all. You're all shy. Anyway, brand ambassadors, how you can get involved, what you need to do differently. You can become a sponsor. Get your own avatar. Get involved. You can then use your own avatar, part of your own marketing. It spreads the word of what we're doing with survey. And it also gets you a really cool character that we can actually do a write-up about. So again, if you go onto the website, you'll see all this great stuff. Now, anybody see my um, Intergeo TV talk from last year? Anybody want to like? Send me a little, a little wave. No? Oh, there's a few little. <laughs> it's like going to the mart when I go buy sheep. Not that one. OK. So we launched the West Coast first ever, ever franchise to get kids in survey. So what the plan is, we want to get it into every country. We need a German one. Hello? We definitely need a German one. 
And the whole point is we're going to replicate what we're doing as a business to actually produce the posters, the homework projects, the coloring in sheets, everything at a local level. You don't want to see this in English in Germany. You want to see this in German. Because kids under 12, are, their English is, could be very good, better than my German. So we want to develop that. So we want to do it that way. So that's really important. So the West Coast guys are in, based in Las Vegas. They have done their first West Coast um, poster. And that's going to go out to 22,000 people through the XYHT magazine this November. And it's going to be showcased at the Trimble Dimensions conference in Vegas as well. So woo -woo, it's really good. Who knows about this? Anybody, anybody play the game? A couple of little hands waving there. You, you're getting a bit more excited now, aren't you? This is much more fun. OK, so last year again on Intergeo TV, I was like, right, I think uh, you know, we need to do two things. We need to get into, we need to do, we need to do a franchise. But then we also need to get it into this bloody game. Sorry, did I swear? Oh, how rude. So last year, at Trimble Dimensions, I worked my way in, speaking to a few people, and I was like, right, I am so going to get into that game, because we need to do this for the profession, right? Really important. I've had several conversations now with Minecraft. I'm not supposed to actually say it, Minecraft, because they are very secretive. Who knew the gaming industry was secretive? I was like, Jesus, it's not like Earth Observation or something like that, is it? Or military. So. The next stages now is you will start to hear some more stuff on the Getkin survey, uh, all the social pages. And we're going to start looking at funding. <laughs> Dear me. Fact. Uh, we're going to start funding, getting some money together to actually get the GeoSquad comic book developed and built inside of Minecraft. So how exciting would that be? Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to raise a, quite a bit of money like 200 grand upwards probably to get this built. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to crowdfund it. Because I don't want it just to be owned by me for us or our company. I want you lot to own it. So if the one man the band surveyor down the road wants to have a little say that he helped get it into Minecraft and donates a euro, let's do it, guys. So this is some of the things that we're going to be doing in the next, hopefully, few months. I'm really impatient, by the way. You can probably get that from my sort of like excited, nervous energy there. So the next thing that we've got to do is I've got to get together a committee of senior people within the industry who've got a bit of clout, a bit of power. So if any of you guys know of people that I should be speaking to, let me know. So I've got about three or four now from some of the big companies. And I need to figure out how this is going to look, what it needs to to what needs to happen. Because Minecraft, um, who I'm speaking to is the education division. Because Minecraft want to get um, the game into, into schools. So they're using Minecraft as a way to actually learn. And that's really key.